Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is going to be the first official installment of the Your and My Stories series that I just started some time back uh, with my son. I'm gonna link the video up here, the, the launch video where my son Akiva, my oldest son and I uh, shared a story with you and in that video I asked you if you want you can send in your stories and I'm just going to read your stories here on my channel. So that's what we're gonna do today because I got one story already sent and as last time I'm go also going to leave the email address where you can send your stories to in the description box down below but please use it only for that okay it's the, that that account where you can send your stories to and yeah I just want to encourage you to do it if you have something that you want to share and you know use sort of my platform as small as it is <laughs> um, you know to encourage other people or to uplift other people or to I don't know just share it can be crazy it can be happy it can be whatever you know sad whatever you want to share this is the platform here for you to do it and yeah and today I'm going to share a story I know from whom but uh, she wants to stay anonymous and um, she's from the USA and she's one of my subscribers and I'm really really happy to share her story so that's what we're doing now and I hope you just enjoy so take something to drink and to, or to eat or something <laughs> put your head on a pillow and let's just uh, have some story time together okay all right I'm going to look of course down because I have uh, let's see it's two and a half pages here I think almost almost two and a half pages but it is a very very nice and uplifting story and I just you know I think you're going to really benefit from this. So, all right, let's go into the story. It says here, my inspiration through my daughter's trials. Throughout my life, I have dealt with many trials and had various hurdles to overcome from my own chronic health issues, challenging young marriage, having four children in six years, a difficult divorce, blending a family in my second marriage, international adoption, debilitating Lyme disease, my children's special needs diagnosis, weight gain and loss, multiple surgeries and multiple cross-country cross moves. But this isn't about any of that. A bit of my backstory is that I have always felt some overwhelming belief on connection to God. I was born and raised in a very small town in the southern United States in a nominally Christian family. We always went to services but never really studied the Bible as a family. I had many serious questions about the scriptures that my teachers couldn't answer, but my faith never wavered. About age 12 to 13, I made a personal commitment to and began my pretty much non-stop daily dialogue with God. Even though my denominations changed various, various times, my dedication and devotion was never altered. With my second marriage to my amazing husband, so happy for you, <laughs> I learned about Judaism and how to keep a Jewish home. Throughout that time I learned about Torah, which is the Jewish Bible sort of, and uh, deepened my relationship with Hashem. If you're not uh, used to these terms, this is how we call God. Okay. Since we were unable to have children of our own together, we chose to adopt. We honestly believe that the Lord guided us specifically to the little girl that he meant for us to parent and become a part of our crazy family. We found her in a Ukrainian orphanage where she had spent the majority of her life except for her multiple hospital hospitalizations. Okay, just wanted like sort of um, throw something in. My brother lives in the Ukraine. He has a humanitarian aid um, work there that he's doing and I have visited him doing his job there a couple of times and I have visited Ukrainian orphanages. Now that is, I don't know, probably something like, I don't know, t the 15 years ago, 20 years ago. Just saying that back then the, the conditions in the orphanages were horrible. I don't know how it is now and I find it so amazing that, um, that they went to adopt a, a child from the, from the Ukraine. It's amazing. Okay, and a sick child too, you know. Okay, um, at almost two years of age, she was unable to walk or talk and was the size of a six month old baby. She and later we suffered from parasitic infections as well. Believe it or not, the doctor who was the orphanage director strongly discouraged us from adopting her due to what he felt would require lengthy, expensive rehabilitation. We were not dissuaded. After arriving home, she did require a tonsillectomy and double, now I don't know really how to pronounce this, sorry, ingranual, 
I'm going to pop it up on the screen so you know what I'm trying to say, hernia repair. But this was nothing to us as our other children had these same surgeries. Additionally, she was diagnosed with celiac disease and dairy sensitivity. But again, this was not a problem as we also had a child was required to be on a gluten and dairy free diet. Soon after her hernia repair, she began to walk. With her diet changes, along with vitamins and supplements, she began to grow rapidly, going through a clothing size each month. Wow. We were on baby hyper mode. <laughs> she began preschool and took off with a blast. She grew into a very normal American girl. She was outgoing and loved playing outdoors. She was so unstoppable, her older siblings even had a hard time keeping up. She loved being on the move and never met a roller coaster she didn't love. <laughs> She was also surprisingly fascinated by all things medical and by the early age of four had an established doll hospital, <laughs> a doll hospital constantly filled with patients with varying, varying ailments and surgical procedures. <laughs> when her sister gave her a toy electric oven, she immediately hooked it up to her doll as a heart monitor. Isn't that lovely? It's so cute. <laughs> She also totally nauseated her mother by insisting on watching all sorts of live action emergency medical TV shows. <laughs> this was certainly her passion. But then everything uh, changed dramatically. At age 12 and a half, she developed a headache. Initially, we treated her like any other with over-the-counter medication. After a month of no change, we became concerned and sought medical advice. It was suggested to be hormonal or emotional with no treatment. The headache was daily, non-stop, and while varied in intensity, never ceased. It was then followed by more symptoms, stomach issues, fatigue, and lack of sleep. We then sought out specialists who still had no answers but wanted to throw drugs at the problem. As parents, we were hesitant of the treatments without di di diagnosis, <laughs> sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong, and concerned about the side effects of the chemicals. We then tried an alternative, therapies to no avail. After a year of those problems, which were beginning to affect her academ academics as well, we conceded to medication. It helped a bit, but not significantly. Fast forward three years, a dozen specialists later, additional symptoms of hearing loss and tachycardia, which is like it's a fast heartbeat, um, more medications and still no change. This was taking a toll on our entire family. She was unable to attend even the one day per week homeschool program where she was enrolled. Our family friendships disappeared, our extended family prayed, and we as parents were distraught but had to put a brave front for her. There were ER visits, over a dozen specialists, several ge genetic tests, about 10 prescriptions, multiple diagnoses, but still no answers as to the cause or treatment. We were crying out to God. As the years went on, not only did her health decline, but so did our lifestyle. We were relatively homebound. We tried to continue her, ed her education at home, but chronic pain also causes memory loss, depression and apathy. We as parents clung tightly to each other and even more so in our devotion to God and his greater plan for us all. We somewhat doubled down in our observance and study. He was our lifeline. And that is something that is just so, so good to happen, you know? Because I always feel, and I'm gonna continue with the story in just a second, um, I always feel that it can either go this way, like we just heard, or it will actually really destroy the family. And that is then the double disaster on what is already happening. So while I sort of understand people who just need to run, I, I sort of get it, you know, because I sometimes feel like that too. Um, because yes, I'm usually happy, but I do have problems too, you know. Um, but that that is the thing, you know, this is what, what keeps our life together. If, if you feel like you do not have to carry the burden alone and you can sort of draw from a greater strength, that is, that is amazing and I feel that too. Okay, so let's get back to the story. Last year, following her hospital hospitalizations, inability to be out of bed for more than 10 minutes at a time, having a central line placed to receive IV medications around the clock, and missing an entire year of school, serious financial drain from medical expenses, sleepless nights of her crying and pain, we were all bottoming out physically, emotionally, socially, and spiritually.
After a ser series of events, now we see was divinely ordained, we returned to a previous medical practice and were able to see the head research specialist who took all the previous years of information into consideration, along with some new testings as well, but took a different approach and actually gave us hope. While he told us that he thought he could offer change within six months, which brought tears to my eyes, we were very reserved and extremely cautiously optimistic. Wow! One month after the initial detoxification and within an hour after her first dose of the new cutting-edge medication, her five-year headache was lower than ever before. It was now a one to two on the 10 counts pain scale, where it previously hovered at a constant five to six and had sometimes spiked to a nine and had her asking for sedation. The following day, she requested to decrease her uh, IV medications. After 48 hours, she was off all IV fluids as well. Within the week she asked to have her central line removed. The doctor wisely asked her to be patient and slowly decrease her oral meds before deciding. We did so and the following month she had the line removed. Another month went by and she was actually playing ball games with classmates at school. She has not missed a single day of her educational program this school year. She's more active than she has been since this all began. While she still has some down days and needs to rest and pace herself. While this is not a complete cure, it is the only treatment that has come close to a remedy. However, it has been life-changing. We are praising God for this wonderful Israeli doctor. <laughs> yeah, uh, and for this journey he has brought us through. We were concerned that our daughter's extensive health problems, tests and trials and constant status as a professional patient over the past five years was, would extinguish her previous interest in her former passion with anything medical ever again. Apparently that was unfazed. She's currently working with her doctor to become a spokesperson at conferences for this amazing life-altering medication. Isn't that amazing, girls? This autumn, she is registered to begin taking college preparatory classes in a pursuit of her EMT certification. After that, her plans are to attend a birthright tour of Israel and resurrect her ultimate lifelong goal of serving in the IDF, which is the Israeli army, as she continues her education towards becoming an emergency medical professional. Baruch Hashem, praise God. It says here, so we're almost done. As for me, her tenacious, long-suffering, caregiving mother, I have to say I've been challenged by all of the almost instantaneous changes in her life and mine. With little support system over the past few years, it has been difficult to even find anyone with whom to celebrate these vict uh, victories. I did mention that my husband and I have found ourselves becoming more observant. Well, in that process, I have also been more intently studying Judaism courses with a great rabbi and I have finally made the choice and been approved for conversion. Along the way, I have returned to head covering, something that had kind of fallen by the wayside in the past few years. I was blessed to find encouragement in Rapunzel, and through there I met Leora. That's me. Um, I have truly enjoyed all her inspirational videos and the positive, uplifting joy she brings to us through her channel and the sincerity in all that she shares. Discovering all of these resources for myself in somewhat unconventional ways via the internet has brought me the community and support I so desperately needed. I thank God for all the miracles he has performed in my daughters and my life, drawing me closer to him and bringing me to this beautiful community. All honor and glory to our creator. So this is the first story. Isn't that amazing? I just really, you know, when I read this, I'm reading this now the second time. I read it, of course, immediately when I got it and I was just blown away. You know, if you has, have seen me recently that I have been struggling with, you know, having very, very bad days, I have been, um, ever since my very good friend died a couple, you know, some time back, I have been in a horrible state of mind. Horrible, horrible, horrible. And the only reason why I came on and kept filming is because it was his dying wish that I should never stop filming. Um, I have been crying all the time, you know, and uh, while it has been getting better and it has been getting easier, um, it is very heavy on my heart to have lost a friend to cancer that was just so young, you know. Um, 
it just feels so wrong still and I don't know if I'll ever really get over it but anyway that's not the topic I'm just trying to say that I have been in um, a bit of a, um, I don't want to say depression because I don't want to insult people who have real depressions you know but I've been really really truly truly upset and uh, then I read this story and I started to be so thankful and thankfulness for other people's blessings can make you feel so so happy did you know that you know it can pull you out of your own pit because you see that there are miracles happening and this is why this is one of the reasons why I want to have this series on my channel and I want to encourage you to send in your stories because you know whatever your story might be if it is a miracle story a healing story or if it is you know your, the scariest moment of your life that you want to share we all can learn something from this you know what I mean it's you know maybe if that was your scariest moment then we know where we should shouldn't go you know what I mean that is um, I think we can so so benefit from from like listening to each other and hearing from each other and learning from each other that it's just such an important thing to do so um, I was super blessed I was super blessed to hear this story uh, or to read this story because it just pulled me out of feeling so sorry for myself you know what I mean it's just um, once you sort of reshift the focus from your own uh, silly little problems and mine are probably silly compared to what other people go through you know uh, I don't want to like belittle my things because I'm a person too and I have my stuff going on and in my life it is real and it is big and it's overwhelming it might not be for someone else you know it might not like compared to what she went through with her family my stuff is probably peanuts you know but for me it's still real and for me it's still huge um, but to hear all of this and then see how she looks back and even sees that everything that happened was guided and there was like this this trace that she could find that she was never alone even though she went through very very hard times it just gives me so much courage and i just feel so so grateful that you shared this story and gave it to all of us and we can just be thankful and happy together and yes you know what you wrote here the at the end of the of the story that through unconventional way, uh, ways via the internet you found that community and the support that you needed and that is really also something that really really touched me because sometimes help comes from places that we just really would not look for or or you know for example the internet like everybody mostly thinks of the internet as like a garbage dump where there is so much filth going on and it's true it's absolutely true but listen you can find light here too you know you can find hope here you can find support here you can find help and you can find friends here and that is absolutely amazing and really sometimes hope comes from unexpected places and we should never like close our eyes to all the options because you know sometimes we think God closes doors or like the possibilities just run away from us and we don't know why what's happening but it's because there is something right next to us that we are supposed to do and we are just looking straight ahead instead of looking right or left you know what I mean so yeah I think this is what I'm taking personally from this story that when looking back at some point stuff is going to make sense and we will feel that we have not been alone you know we will see even though maybe at the moment we do feel like um, it's really hard and we're struggling and um, we don't know why we feel so lonely and where is everybody but one day we will know that we were not alone so now it's this is really emotional because I'm the loneliest person <laughs> the whole world you know this is how I feel most of the time um funny because a lot of youtubers that I'm watching uh, they, they started their channel because they were lonely you know <laughs> so anyway uh, just uh, just as a side note I feel that this is one of the main points besides the wonderful almost healing of the daughter and her going on with her life and and being able to lead a normal life but then also looking back as a mom 
and seeing that you have been carried through this and then also the, the fact that you know she found the support after all that time she finally found the support that she needed so I have been really really blessed by this story so I want to encourage you to also send your stories it does not have to be religious you know I'm embracing of a, a variety of things here so you can send whatever you want I'm going to read it and I will um, you know of course I'm going to read it first uh, on my own and then if I think this is suitable then I'm uh, definitely going to publish it and um, I also told you in my last video you can tell me um, things that you want me to include your name or you know whatever is essential to your story or you can leave it like this one here completely anonymous it's totally fine we can totally go with the flow here and yeah I'm super excited what the next story is going to be I want to thank you all for being here of course as always you can leave me your comments in the comment section down below and your feedback and what do you think and again send your stories if you want to if you feel like you want to share something and um, and then we'll all I'm sure benefit from that so besides that if you're new here then please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this kind of content of course I have a variety of content here on my channel because it's lifestyle and it's beauty but um, you know we're all like sharing this nice community here together with a lot of variety and I think that's how life is you know because we are more than just one topic all of us so yeah so that's what we're doing here I hope you subscribe and besides that of course you find everything that I'm wearing on my face in the description box down below also of course the email address that I mentioned and my social media contact and everything else you need to know and I hope I'll see you here next time for my next video which is going to be super soon and up until then go ahead and sparkle hugs and kisses bye